I don't usually get sentimental about these bees, but this is, um, I've called him Alfred, this this is a guy who's been around for about three, four days. He, um, I believe he's a male from last season, uh, who spent his time in a, in a reed, and I was moving some reeds from a project nearby, and he came out of it, uh, one of the reeds, and I think he'd just gone in there for, uh, either to overwinter or to, uh, maybe to die, but uh, anyway, he, he came out and um, I put him out in the sun, his reed out in the sun uh, day before yesterday and he came out. He's not really a great flyer. I think he might be a bit tired and you can see he's, he's pretty scared, I think, but he wants to stay on my hand. I've given him flowers and he, he stayed on my hand. I've tried honey, which I know don't, doesn't usually work with solitary bees, um, but he stayed on my hand, so and he's got this defensive position. And he's a little bit scared. His two front uh, legs come up. So, uh, I'm not really sure what to do with him. You can see he's a male because um, he's got a certain amount of fur around his thorax. And it's the species, uh, carpenter bee species called Xylocopia violacea. You can tell by the sort of violet uh, colours on the wings. Now normally um, we'd be in a much better, warmer situation when they come out, but um, it's only 7th or 8th of March and uh, and they've all come out a little bit early, including Alfred, and I don't really know what to do with them. But uh, I think sometimes these bees, when, they, when they're struggling a bit, they, they like being on the hands because they uh, they get a certain amount of warmth from the hand. But then again, okay, I don't know whether he's lost one of his wings. Normally they have two, maybe well tucked away. But uh, so I don't really know what to do with Alfred. There he's up, sitting up and begging again. Now, there's not going to be any more sunshine today, and he doesn't seem to want to leave me. Here he comes. So this is. Part of the little occasional times you have to look after an individual bee and try and figure out how to get them back to fly. But uh, I'm not sure what we're doing with Alfred. I've got a, I've got what I call my bumblebee first aid shelter. Now he's coming. I'm going to go back. I'm going to put him in the. That's probably my only option. Is to put him in this this shelter, which is a very badly made bumblebee box. And uh, I'll give him the option, well, I might just have to push him in there to go into the hole. Let's see if he takes it. There you go. He's recognised a dark hole. And it works again. So I think he's going to give it another day. Oh, and there's a little cocoon release box with a Osmia cornuta male, male. And this is one of my little mini cocoon release boxes. And you can see on the the right, and they go away, but to the right there's other males scanning the holes, so it may be too cold for the females to come out, but uh, the male cornuch is the early lot to come out about now, or usually about the 10th of uh, March, the last few years. So, we will see. And I'll post up a video about uh, like looking inside this cocoon box earlier on today. Oh, Alfred's gone to sleep.